Today I'm drawing a card for Violet Divine. I actually did a mini, um, I don't know if you guys have seen it, but it was um, using the Cartabella slash GCD kit, um, and it's called Silhouettes of Beauty from Violet Divine Scrapbooking. And um, I just wanted to share today a card, but I'm using the same techniques as I used in the mini. Um, so these guys can kind of get an idea of what I'm doing and things like that. So I've sort of got an idea in front of me what I'm doing. It's not glued down. So I'm kind of just going to go with it and um, hopefully you guys um, will like the video and you'll want to watch. So, um, okay, so now we're going to get cracking. What I've decided is I've just um, used a lot of dyes in my stash. The papers I've used from the kit is this one. Okay, so it's the pink and that's that side but we're not using it. And this paper, I really like this paper. And then this one on the other side, which we're not using this side. And we're using this one, which the flip side. And the other paper we're using, I didn't actually have any more of it besides what's in the card. And it looks like this here. It's actually very similar, except it's alternated. So it's um, the pink around the edge and white stars. So we're using that too. Okay. So I'm just going to get cracking. First of all, um, oh, and the dies that I used. Okay. So these dies no. Just keep that close to me. Um, I used a punch that looks like this. Put that this way. Okay. By Martha Stewart. I've used um, this one by Tim Holtz. I'll do it sideways. And it's an alterations butterfly. So I've actually layered that like this. So we got the two layers, okay, up the top. I've also used this one here. It's Marion Creatables. Marianne Designs Creatables. And it's L L R O one one six. So it's not actually got a name, but I actually used the flourishes in it. These are awesome little flourishes. So they look like that. So I use them too out of that packet. And I used a lot of dyes on this actually. And a lot of my new ones that I got for my birthday off my mum or ones that I bought recently. And I got this recently, um, Spellbinders Nest Abilities. I'm looking for a name. Mm -hmm. Oh, Fleur de Lis Rectangles. Okay, so that's that one. So it looks like that picture here. Okay, so use that too, and I've got and for the flower this one I have a start to finish on that, but I did use a number of punches that looks like this, so they either look like that flower or they look like this. So and I just did different sizes, and I just sort of put it all together and made that. So I will have the start to finish for that in another video. Okay, so I'm just going to shut that away, and next we'll start getting carry on carry on okay so I've got some flowers here from the kit um, this was petaloo and then we've got the roses and this is from my stash and this and the buds are from my stash but the rest is from the kit but I, unless it's like this which I use my dye but all the papers and everything and the, some of the flowers are from the kit okay let's get cracking first of all we're going to distress the edges of these papers I normally would have it distressed ahead of time but I thought I'll do it with these guys. Um, okay, so here's all my embellishments. A lot of paper there. Okay, let's get cracking. So I'm just going to distress these edges of this paper and of this says um, dance like nobody's watching, uh, love like you've never been hurt, sing like nobody's listening, live like it's heaven on earth. So um, I'm going to distress that and distress this one here and then I'll be right back. Okay, what we're going to do next is start layering. So first of all, I've cut, punched these out, so that's going to be on the top and the bottom. Okay, so we've just got a white card base, and that's going to go on. Okay. Look at which way it goes first. Yeah, I think it goes, actually, hang on, let's straighten these out. Because sometimes when you distress it, it kind of pushes it back a bit far. We want it the same size as what we cut it. Yeah, I think that way. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, actually, we're all losing our bits. Just get 
rid of all that. Okay, so I'm just going to dust my bats. Okay, and glue. So I'm just using my Helmers. I love this glue. You can glue metal, you can glue, glue anything. I see a lot of people using glue and they'll change glues and they'll use um, like a type of metal glue, they'll use a paper glue, they'll use like 500 different glues. I just use this glue for everything and it actually holds it. Surprise, surprise. So, flowers. Okay. Sorry, I had it pumping out. But okay. Glue. And I think they do come in a smaller size too in the helmets. Which will be good for like a scrap bag if you're going away for the weekend or whatever. You don't want to be lugging around a big glue. Okay. And then what we're going to do is stick these bits. So top and bottom. Okay. So you're just sticking these bits in. Just going a little bit higher. I want it hanging over my card so it doesn't matter if it hangs over. And we want it here on the bottom. Okay, let's get some more glue on the bottom bit. Just don't want it too far hanging out if that makes sense because it's going to be hanging over your card. That's it. Okay, I think my glue's dried a bit now, so I'm gonna have to add just a little bit more. Just love this kit and it's really good for all different cards like you could make um, cards for ladies you can make cards for males you can make cards for everyone kids teenagers this would be good for young women okay alrighty let's glue that down you know me like everything pretty perfect okay Make sure I've got the card opening the right way. I've done that a couple times, glued it in wrong. Okay. Done. Okay, now what I'm going to do is start sticking my layers down. So what I was thinking was this one here. Okay. I'm just going to put that off to the side again. And just glue up the top. Here and the bottom. Oh, and I'll do the sides too. And what I'm thinking is uh oops I didn't just stress the sides of that. Okay. Where is my distressor? Okay, sorry, wait be sick. So I'll just distress the sides. I'm just doing that off camera so we don't get it all on the card. Oops, just a bit. Okay, now what we're gonna do is actually put that on the card just for a second and then we'll figure out where we're going from there okay just glue that in the middle and there's going to be some layers so we've just got to figure out where we're exactly putting it okay and then this is the layered bit that goes over the top here and again the bits I've just dropped Sorry guys. I'm pretty distressed. And then these bits are gonna go up here. Okay. We just want to do glue. So I'm gonna be tucking these in up here. And I'm gonna do the same on the bottom. Hope that makes sense. So just in here. 
these guys can see that. So it kind of just looks like another layer. Actually, I think that's the bottom one. That's the top one there. Yeah. That's the top one. That's the bottom one. Okay. So again, that's going to tuck under. Just flap it up a bit. You don't really need glue because that piece of paper's already got glue on it. You do want it poking out a bit. I'll just fix that tear a bit. Yep, that's better. Okay, and then these are the banners that are going to go underneath that big bit. Okay. So we just want that here. So that's that. And then we want the other one a bit further down. This one down here. So we just want it a bit overlapping. Okay. Hopefully you guys can see that. So it's just a bit of a banner poking out. Probably should have done it the other way around. Let's have that a bit further down and have the bigger one further up. Yep, that's better. Done. Okay, now I'm going to lay this other torn bit here in the middle. Okay. Okay, done. And then I've also got this bit which was that re that rectangle die that I just show I showed you at the beginning. This one. So that's that. Just cut off the corners to kind of make it look like a corner. So that's going to go there in the corners. Okay, so I'm just going to glue that on. And I might 3D it out. To give it some dimension so it's just like a little corner. Isn't that a good idea? Oh, that's why I couldn't figure out where the paper was from. It's that one. Yes, I did use all of that. It had really good fussy cutting on that page. So I used all of it. In my mini. So these are basically, like I said, techniques from my mini. Okay, so that's the idea there. Alright. Okay, so now I'm just going to get some 3D dots from the drawer. Don't want it too high, so I'll just grab my flatter dots. On. Sometimes it slides with glue. I prefer glue. I used to use tape for everything and I transferred over to glue. Um, I do use tape for some things but mostly now I just use glue. It's easier, it's quick and it's done when you glue it. It isn't moving. And I found with um, with glue too, if I have to, like I said, move things or sometimes you, you put it down wrong and you're like, oh, I want to slide it a bit, you can't do that with tape. Once it's down, it's down. And with the glue, you have for a little while an option to sort of slide it a bit or move it from side to side before it dries. Okay, so get all those things off the back. Sorry. And you know me, my butterflies, love my butterflies. <laughs> Even got it on my ring. Okay. Butterflies symbolize a new, new beginning. Oh no, that's dragonflies. Um, butterflies symbolize metamorphosis, like, um, basically it's a new beginning too. But, um, because you know how they change into a caterpillar. This, I want it in the middle again. <sighs> Sorry. Okay, in the middle. 
done. Okay, now we're going to start loading all our embellishments. I've got a ton of them. So to start off with, I'm going to just use um, the flourish that I showed you. Okay, and that's going to go up here on the card. Um, and then the other flourish on the other side. As you can see, I don't use a ton of glue on my embellishments or pack them all. Okay, we've got our curlies. I always have the little one to the inside and the longer one to the outside, if that makes sense. And then we've got the bud, so the bud will go in. I always do these first because it's just easier. Oops, just slid up a bit. Okay. Oh, my cheesecloth. I'm so sorry, guys. Okay, I'll just add a bit of cheesecloth. Well, medical gauze. I always add this on everything. It just gives it a whimsical look. Okay. Just use my Timmy scissors. Just got them the other day. I was so happy. When I found them. Because I've never seen them before. In any of the stores. Okay, cool. It's pointy. Okay, grab them again. And they're very sharp. Okay. I like to fray it a bit so it's frayed on both sides. See? Like that. And then I also like to cut it so I have a bit at the top and a bit at the bottom. So just neaten those frayed bits up. Get rid of the excess. Oh, sorry, I'm off frame. Okay, so we're just going to glue that in, and I'm just going to cut this bit off. And this was sprayed using the cotton candy shimmers that came in the Prima add-on kit. Okay, and that's going to go up the top. these back on. Oops, wrong way. And then we got a little bow using out of the Cartabella kit. And I'm putting one of the petaloo flowers over the top of that. Oh, forget that. Just take it off. Okay, and I'm going to put this one. So we all want it a bit higher. So I kind of just want it resting on the wood. This was actually from my stash, this flower, this one. And the buds were from my stash too. But the rest was from the kit. Okay. Just glue that in. And also don't forget to enter. I'm having a giveaway at the moment. Where I'm giving away a handmade tag. That I made using the Prima kit. All you got to do is be a subscriber of this channel and a liker of Just Cards by Sarah. And then you just got to comment below the video. I know a lot of people um, already are likers of Just Cards by Sarah on this channel and also um, my Facebook. I do share all my work on my Facebook and if stores are having sales that I'm designed for or if I've got any news to announce or photos or anything like that I just put on that site. Okay, so just gonna glue that in. Okay. Alright, so that's that. Just love that quote. It says it's by Mark Twain. It's very pretty. Okay. So let's 
glue this in now again. So it's going to go up the top in between the rose and the cheesecloth. kind of want it to be on see on that yep that's it on that corner okay and then I've got a heather which is going to squeeze actually I'll do the bottom before it glues okay yeah. Just putting it under that rose as you guys can see and then this will go on top so we want the bud to kind of look like it's a part of the stem so as if it's growing off it okay and then these actually I'm gonna add these I punched these out and I'm thinking maybe adding them or adding these I might add these like I said, I kind of had an idea where I was going, but not a, a big, like, fully. Actually, I don't like it there. I might stick it here instead. Sorry, guys. Do you change my, my mind a lot? Okay, so that's that. And then the heather has to go up the top. This was from my stash, so... I think it was from Wild Orchid, yeah. Okay. So I just kinked it a bit, it was dead straight. Okay. Um, and then I'm gonna maybe add these in. Always, I'm always ready, and whenever I get on film, it just turns into a disaster. Okay, I'm just gonna best thing to do with these is just curl like twist them like that ahead of time and I don't like glue at all being shown so pretty pedantic about all that stuff actually I might cut it now because we don't want it too long poking out it okay and the same on this side get some glue onto it I think that's what it needed and that's gonna poke maybe up here yeah okay that's what it needed so or should I put it inside Actually, I might put it inside here. So then the heather's there. Yep, yeah, that's better. Yep, yeah, that's much better. Okay. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I do a lot of fiddling. Okay, and then this will go up here in the corner, and I'm going to add this flower to it. And then the flower, I'll add in the middle. I was going to add it down here, but it didn't really match it because it needed some white. I just want it kind of on the corner. Okay, um, I got paper clip. Might try not too much. What about these brads? These are also in from the kit. Let's try it out. I've also got little punched bits. Mm. I think it's a little too much. This needs to come out a bit more. Okay. 
of my poker. these breads. I might cut the bits off. Ooh. What does that look like poked under there? my card I'm just gonna pull it out a bit so you guys can see it clearly and be sure to check out Violet Fine they have some awesome kits and um, make sure to go Ooh, that's the first time um, be sure to go check out the competition I'll leave the link below so you guys can go in the drawer to win the tag so and this is the Cartabella kit um, for Violet Divine and it's called Silhouettes of Beauty so be sure to check it out all right see you later.